Hello everyone, this is the Hebrew Jamaican Cooley back again with another video. If you like my content, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and share the video. Help me to get to 1000 subscribers and get monetized by YouTube. You see me because everybody need to get some money in them days and them hard working days, you know. Anyway, the topic of today is before you get into an interracial, interracial relationship with anybody, something you may want to consider. And here's what you may want to consider. The word of the day when it comes to interracial, interracial relationships is compatibility. How compatible are you with this person? Now, I've talked about many, many times in past videos my Asian exes, I've talked about my white exes, um, and I've talked about my black exes. But the thing that I've told you the, the most is this, is that I am mostly compatible with black women, which is why I mostly like, which is why I mostly go after black women. And by the way, people, the darker the better. I love extremely dark black women. I love sun-kissed black women. Sun-kissed. Them dark. You understand what I'm saying? I had a girlfriend. She was so dark that her skin was kind of shiny and silky. I don't know, but a lot of men may know what I'm talking about with the silky skin. If you've been with a lot of black women, you know what I'm talking about when you have a girl or a woman, she has she has skin that just looks very silky. It looks like velvet. In any case, my compatibility, my highest compatibility was not with my um, other ethnicity girlfriends. It was mostly with black women. And I think this is very, very important to talk about. It's important to talk about because you want to understand what you're doing as a man when you're getting into relationships like this and how far can a relationship go because we as men, we want to be loved, we want to be respected and we want to be with hot women and there is absolutely not a thing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I don't have a problem with black men or black women going into inter interracial relationships. Here's my problem. My problem is the punching down. My problem is always going to be the punching down. Calling, you know, black men names, calling black women names. My problem will always be the punching down. I hate when people punching down. And I try my best not to do it as well. I think we're all guilty of that. I think I've been guilty of punching down at times. So, you know, I don't have a problem if a brother or a sister wants to get into an interracial relationship. We don't own anybody. We can't tell nobody what they should be doing with their body, their minds, their spirit, their, their, their body parts. You understand? If somebody feels loved by a different ethnicity and they're very compatible with them, by all means, go where you are celebrated, not where you are tolerated. I don't believe in holding any ba anybody back from loving anybody that they fall in love with. It's just not right. It's just not right. You see me? Now, here's my thing. Here's my thing. Why I say it's very important that you consider your compatibility with the person that you're seeking to have a relationship with is because after all the glamour and glitter is done, after all the honeymoon phase is over, what you're now going to be left with is somebody that you're going to start understanding. You understand you're going to start understanding how they think how they behave 
and how they are going to truly treat you when they are upset with you. And that's very, very important. After all the glamour and glitter is over, after all the, the sex capades is over, how will your body respond to this person after all the exotic fantasies I have been, you know, experienced and explored? When all the fantasies have been explored, how will your body now respond to this person that you, you know, fantasized about being with, fantasized about doing many, many things with, and then now it's all been explored, it's all over, you're now in, you know, you're now in day-to-day -day life, you know, how, how, how will your body continue to respond to this person? And I've said it many, many times, I'm going to say it again, my highest compatibility is with black women, mine, mine, no one else's. I'm not talking about anyone else's. I'm talking about my experience. My experience. You understand? I'm not speaking for all black men. I'm speaking about my experience. My best experiences, even when I was in toxic relationships, my body responded better to black women. Especially when I'm beside my wife. It's like just getting close to my wife. My body just, I don't know what happens. It just has a reaction. We can call it love. We can call it whatever it is. But, you know, physically, I have a higher compatibility with black women than I do with Asians, Spanish, and, you know, white people. So, you know, if any of my white exes you're watching, don't worry. We had great relationships. You know, you were loved, you know, it ended, we never cuss, we never fight, we never, we never, you know, call each other names or nothing like that. So I am not speaking against you. You understand? I'm just saying that we, in terms of compatibility, probably one of the reasons why it never worked out is just that I wasn't compatible with you. You understand? You weren't a bad person. Well, one of you was. One of you was a B. <laughs> a mega B too. Jeez. Um. You know, anyway. Uh, sorry about the sunlight, people. I'm trying to... Alright, let me try to keep the sunlight out. Anyway, so... You have to make sure that you're compatible with this person. And what I mean by compatibility too is life experiences. You know, some people... We come from different types of lives... And, you know, even if you're wealthy and the person that you're dating is wealthy, you probably, you know, gained your wealth through hard work, but this person was probably born wealthy. You were probably born in poverty and then you gained your wealth. And this person, they don't understand what living an impoverished life may be like. They may not understand what growing up and the types of games you played and you know, type of, the types of experience you had while growing up, you know, some, because their experiences may differ. And to you, it might seem like they're being callous because they don't understand and they're trying to understand, but it just seems like they can't grasp it. But they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not, they're not being callous. They're not being, you know, stiff on you. They're not treating you a certain way, etc. It's just that they didn't experience it, so it's really hard for them to grasp it. It's really hard for them to basically, you know, experience what you're going through or think about what you're going through because they've never had to go through it. And you have to really and truly think about that. You understand? You have to think about, you know, your compatibility with people who can understand, you know, certain foods that you might bring up certain you know things that you may talk about like i said before after all the fantasies have all worn out um compatibility is going to keep you with this person you know anyway that's just my topic for today tell me what you think this is the hebrew jamaican coolie peace i am out i'll see you next time